The movie starts with a Christmas sermon held at a church celebrating the birth of Jesus. In the audience, two out of our three main characters are first introduced to us. An alcoholic man, ironically named Jin, and a transgender woman going by the name of Hana. After the sermon and the speech by the preacher, we see the two characters lining up to get some food. We now find out that they are at a homeless shelter because they are both in fact homeless. As their turn comes, Hana jokingly says that she needs a double portion, since she might be carrying a baby, leaving the serving lady in complete confusion. In another part of the city, we meet the last protagonist in this story, Miyuki, a teen that ran away from home and is now living with Jin and Hana. The way she likes to spend her time is by spitting on the people passing by her building and marking her hits with chalk. The reason why Hana asked for a double portion is for Miyuki, as she acts as a mother figure for this stray teen. As Hana's trying to teach Miyuki to appreciate her food, we find out she has quite a potty mouth and hates authority figures, Hana included. Miyuki then turns her attention to Gin, insulting him as well. But before they can continue their bickering, Hana comes between them, saying they should at least get along during Christmas. Shortly later, we see the trio searching for Christmas presents in a garbage dump. Specifically, Hana told Miyuki that she found a whole set of world literature for children, although it looks like someone took them away now. Although confused at why she would need literature books, Miyuki's complaining is cut short by Jin saying she should be grateful since Hana worked hard to find those books, and even a homeless teen like her deserves a present for Christmas. Miyuki says she's not actually homeless, and it's her choice not to go back home, but she can return anytime. Jin sarcastically responds by stating that six months on the street means she's technically homeless, but while Jin's digging into the trash for treasure, an angry Miyuki throws a book at his face, telling him to mind his own business. This time Jin is enraged, so he rushes to Miyuki and smacks her head for acting like a brat, saying that today's not the day for her to mess with him. As the two keep play fighting and bickering, they make a great racket, and soon enough a baby starts crying. The only problem being, that baby is in this garbage dump. The trio stops and looks around confused. Moments later, they find the baby wrapped in a blanket. As they stare at the abandoned baby in shock, Hana decides to grab the baby in her arms, successfully managing to pacify it, while Jin and Miyuki find the note left behind by the baby's supposed parents, asking whoever finds the baby to take care of it. Inside the bag where the baby was, they also find a key. Jin points to the police station, intending to hand the baby over to the authorities. But Hana says that the baby is a gift from God and she plans to raise it as their baby, leaving the other two flabbergasted. As they walk to their shelter, Jin and Miyuki try to convince Hana to return the baby since its parents might come back for her. Hana retorts by saying that no parent would leave their child in the cold. Then she continues walking, saying that Kyoko wanted them to find her. We now find out that the baby is a girl, and Kyoko, which means pure, is the name that Hana decided to name her. Although Jin likes the name, he complains, saying they can't just name a baby girl since she's not a kitten or a puppy. Hana determinedly says she wants to take Kyoko home, making her other two companions keep complaining. But having had enough, an angry Hana turns to them, saying it's her only chance to feel like a mother. Now in their tent-like shelter in the park, the two hobos try to find out how to make little Kyoko stop crying while Miyuki complains about how loud the baby is. Not finding any success, Miyuki comments that Kyoko might be sick, making Hana cry as well, saying that Christmas should be the happiest day of the year. And if they give little Kyoko to the police now, then it'll be the worst day ever. However, tomorrow they'll return her to her parents. Jin then thinks that maybe the baby just needs a diaper, and that seems to do the trick as Kyoko finally stops crying. Jin then tells Hana to boil some water because he's going to make some milk. Happy that Gin's finally accepted her request, Hana tells Miyuki to go and buy some water, since she refuses to give little Kyoko tap water. While returning from the store, Hana finds some leftover food in a trash pile, and as she rushes home, she stumbles into another pair of homeless guys carrying some books they got from that garbage dump. Miyuki then sees one of the books they dropped was a book on how to take care of a baby, so she picks it up and has a quick read. Miyuki then tells the men she'll keep this book, but before running away, she drops a couple of rice balls in their bag. While Miyuki walks back to their tent, we find out that Jin used to be married and he had a child as well, a girl, noting that his child is the only thing he cared for more than his life. Apparently, 
all went well, and Jin used to have a career as a bicycle racer until his little girl became sick and the hospital bills became too much for Gin. So in a desperate attempt to make some money, Jin threw a race to win the prize money, but the officials soon found out so he was banned from racing and his little girl passed away. At that point, he gave up on life after his wife passed away as well. Hana scolds him, saying she didn't want to hear that because she hates sad stories. But soon Miyuki returns, and Jin prepares the milk for the baby. The next morning, Miyuki and Jin find out that Hana and Kyoko have already left. So they set off after them, eventually finding the duo at the original garbage dump where they found the baby previously. Jin suggests again they take Kyoko to the police station, but Hana interjects saying she wants to find the baby's mother and ask why she threw her child away like garbage. If she's satisfied with her answer, she'll forgive her and give her the baby back. Although agreeing with Hana's request, Jin asks how they'll go about finding Kyoko's parents. Fortunately, Miyuki remembers the key she found along with the baby. They then find the locker matching the number on the key, and when opening it, they find another bag with the parents' belongings, some pictures, and another key along with some business cards. They try calling the number on the cards, but no one picks up, so they start a long trek to the address. While traveling on the Japanese railway, Hana suggests that maybe the parents took their life since they left their important belongings and their baby. Jin can only scream out in shock. Meanwhile, the other passengers comically try holding their breath from the trio's incredibly disgusting odor. While the train stops next to another train, a man on the other train recognizes Miyuki and tries grabbing her attention. The man then picks up his phone to call someone, scaring Miyuki and making her run off the train. Baffled, Hana and Jin follow suit. While walking, they come across a cemetery where Jin finds a bottle of unopened sake and the rest find some food intended as offerings for the deceased. Incredibly, Hana also finds some diapers and an unopened tin of baby formula milk. While coming outside the graveyard, the group runs into a Yakuza boss who is comically stuck under his car. Hana and Jin help the man out, and after asking if the man is familiar with the business cards they found, the man informs them that his daughter will marry the boss of the club where Kyoko's mother used to work. At the gathering, the groom tells everyone that the baby's mother is Sachiko, a former bar girl. He tells them where Sachiko lives, but the party is cut short when a hitman disguised as a maid tries to shoot the father of the bride. The hitman that seems to be speaking another language kidnaps Miyuki and her baby sister Kyoko and brings them back to his house. There, Miyuki makes friends with the hitman's wife as she has a baby as well, even though they don't speak the same language. During one of their talks, Miyuki admits that she ran away from home after stabbing her controlling father because she thought he got rid of her beloved cat, Angel. Hana searches for Miyuki and Kyoko, meanwhile Jin takes care of an elderly homeless man taking his dying breath on the street. The old man dies quietly after giving Jin a small red bag. A group of teenagers show up and beat up both Jin and the dead man. Hana finds the girls, and when they need a place to stay, she takes them to Angel Tower, a club where she used to work before she beat up a rude and drunk customer years ago. Jin is already there after he was saved by another club member. Here we learn that Hana lost her home when her boyfriend died after slipping on a bar of soap in the bathroom and falling down the stairs. Later, the three people find out that Sachiko's house has been torn down. They hear about how bad things are between Sachiko and her husband, who is a drunk gambler. Miyuki then reads in the newspaper a note from her father telling her that Angel has come back home. Miyuki realizes she made a mistake and tries to call her father, but she gets scared and hangs up before she can say anything. The group stops at a shop to rest until the clerk tells them to leave. When Hana passes out, Jin and Miyuki rush her to the hospital. Once there, Jin finds his daughter Kyoko, who he hasn't seen in a long time, working as a nurse. Jin is yelled at by Hana in front of his daughter, and she storms out of the hospital with baby Kyoko in her arms. Sachiko is planning to jump off a bridge, climbing above the barrier, when Hana and Miyuki find her. Sachiko says that her husband gave the baby away without her knowing, so Hana and Miyuki give the baby back to Sachiko. Jin finds Sachiko's husband, who says Kyoko was kidnapped from the hospital by Sachiko. The trio then searches and chases after Sachiko and Kyoko. Miyuki follows Sachiko all the way to the top of a building. Sachiko says she got pregnant because she thought it would bring her and her husband closer together. But when she had a miscarriage, she took Kyoko from the hospital because in her sadness and grief, she thought the baby was hers. 
Sachiko jumps off the building, but Miyuki catches her before she hits the ground. Then Sachiko drops Kyoko by accident. Luckily, Hana jumps off the building, catches the baby, and hangs onto a banner on the side of the building. As she and the banner start to fall, a sudden gust of wind slows down their fall, letting Hana and Kyoko safely drop to the ground. Hana, Miyuki, and Jin are then taken to the hospital. During their reunion, Miyuki drops the old man's red bag, which has a winning lotto ticket, on the floor. Meanwhile, the real parents of Kyoko want the three of them to be the baby's godparents. When a police officer brings the parents to meet the trio, it turns out that the officer is actually Miyuki's father. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.